Guys, I have something really cool for you here. Let's get stuck into today's tour at the Butcher's House, Bothwell. So Bothwell is about an hour's drive from Tasmania. As you drive to the property, you can't help but get a sense of the isolation and the quietness of what life out in the hills, in the highlands of this part of Tasmania is and what it was once like. The beauty of the landscape, it comes to life and definitely adds and builds a feeling of anticipation as you get further and further away from the city and closer to the butcher's house. I first discovered this place on Airbnb a couple of months ago. It is a heritage listed property. There's a real story behind this place. There once was a man, don't know what his name was, but he was a butcher. He lived in this house about 200 years ago. He had a slaughterhouse in the backyard and by the roadside he has a butcher shop where he'd sell his, his meat. I love staying in a place that has a story to it. It just makes it really interesting, especially a place that is so old like this property this is almost 200 years old some of the fixtures and fittings I mean, in fact a lot of them are original the front door is original the front step is original you start to wonder and think imagine if you could get a glimpse into everything that's gone on in this house and what that early life was like in tasmania 200 years ago the key to get into the property is an original old vintage key. I thought that was a nice, cool part of the experience there. So this property has two bedrooms, a living room, kitchen and bathroom. So you can have up to four people stay here. In the main bedroom you've got a queen size bed and then in the second bedroom you've got two single beds. So the lounge room is the heart and soul of the property. There's really a lot of history at this place. You can feel it, you can smell it in fact. It has a quite a distinct scent. A woody, leathery, little bit of smoke from the fire. The walls are witnessed and seen so much, it's almost like they've absorbed part of that history. In here you've got a beautiful, warm, cozy fire, a couple of leather couches, tartan blankets, beautiful, beautiful furniture, fittings, books. This room just screams out to sit around in, have a board game, enjoy a dram of whiskey, especially a single malt whiskey from Tassie because we do them so well here, and kick back and take it all in. My favourite thing about this room, aside from the fireplace and aside from the really cool pheasant which is mounted above the fireplace, is these shutters on the windows. They're made of timber and they're just really unique. I think it's very much in keeping with what it probably was once upon a time. Bringing these old timber shutters which were custom made for it just really look incredible. The owner Vanessa, she had a local artist come and complete this mural and it depicts the local area in and around Bothwell and I think it's the absolute feature of the room. The main bedroom of the property, the owner told me that this was the lover's fireplace, it's called. It has an open fireplace so it goes without saying that it's a very romantic feature. If you stay here you definitely need to light the fire in the bedroom. Hop into bed when it's you know crackling away there. The scent, there's a little bit of smoke tendril kind of in the room. I loved it. It also started to rain and I absolutely love hearing the sound of raindrops on the roof, especially at night when you're trying to drift off to sleep. It's just so therapeutic. I had the fire crackling, I had little raindrops coming down on the roof, a possum walking around on the patio. It really was a moment that I had to almost pinch myself and just think, wow, how lucky am I that I, I get to experience this. It's a big trend with a lot of short stay accommodation places these days to invest in really beautiful linens. These are really beautiful, really, really nice nice stuff on the bed. Moving through to the kitchen, it is a galley style. It's really well appointed. You've got heaps of utensils and pots and pans and I'm not talking about your cheap pots and pans. There's iron skillets, really heavy duty hardware and the oven is actually quite an expensive and really high quality oven which is awesome for baking in. So if you're a person that likes to 
bake a loaf of sourdough or a loaf of bread, you'll be right at home here. Again, everything in here is just really intentional. Even the washing up cloths and scrubbing brush is original vintage wooden scrubbing brush. There's no chucks cloth. At the end of the kitchen is a little dining area and here you've got a table at least plenty big enough for four or five people. I really liked this bathroom. It has a huge claw foot bath. It has these curtains which wrap around the bath. They're made of fabric rather than plastic. Nice touch, everything is a little bit elevated. You draw the bath and then pull the curtains behind you and kick back. Put some Epsom salts in the bath which are provided and it's just awesome. Really nice touch as well. There's beautiful little candles and lanterns and things scattered about the property inside and out there for you to light and use and I definitely suggest you do that because it adds a real ambience to the place. Last but not least you've got this second bedroom. I didn't really utilize the backyard during my stay because it was a little chilly and I opted to go sightseeing in the local area instead but you do have a nice outdoor sitting area in the backyard. Got a washing line up the back, feel free to chop some wood, have a bit of fun, just be careful with the axe. You've got the original slaughterhouse which is now a laundry room but that is where Mr. Butcher once prepared his, his wares. This stay is definitely going down the books for me as one of the most unique. You can get lost in this house, not lost in a literal sense, but in all of what's in here, it really kind of draws you in and there's a lot to explore within the house. The books, the little trinkets, and the little touches that Vanessa, the owner of the property, has brought in with an incredible eye for detail. Tips, book ahead, come here in winter, light the candles, draw a hot bath, stock up on some beautiful food and get cooking in the kitchen, bring some whiskey, sit by the fire and just enjoy it. Vanessa, thank you so much for having me. And guys, thank you for being here as well. I really appreciate all of the people who are coming here to subscribe and watch. I'll leave all the details for this property linked down below. And please feel free to follow me on Instagram and TikTok. My account is at Benny BNB. Benny BNB. Benny BNB. Yeah, cool. All right, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys. <whistles>